A familiar name to newlyweds, graduates, and grandparents for the past 75 years is shutting down, at least here in the tri state. Olin Mills is closing the last of its stores in Cincinnati this week. A phone rep at the Harrison Avenue photo studio told Nine on Your Side that all stores in this market are shutting down. We've been able, unable to reach corporate headquarters in Tennessee, but an Olin Mills in Louisville says it's closing this Thursday while a Columbus store is not answering the phone at all. Have any pictures at Olin Mills? I'd call them or stop by ASAP. With many of us running space heaters this week to try to keep warm, we have an important safety alert about one heater that could be a fire hazard. Big Lots is recalling Climate Keeper portable ceramic heaters. You see them here? They can overheat, melt the plastic, and start a fire. They were sold at Big Lot stores since 2010 for about $25. They say Climate Keeper on them. Unplug them immediately and return them to Big Lots. I have more details on WCPO.com. Speaking of heat, this is just what you didn't need to hear during this cold snap. Natural gas prices are heading up. Natural gas prices have been at five-year lows, but this cold weather is setting prices shooting back up, up 2% just this week to their highest level since fall. Now, the good news, this will not impact your January bill, but it could mean we'll pay a bit more next month. The start of the new year is a good time to get your finances in order, and it's none too soon. A new report from our partners at Consumer Reports Magazine finds a surprising number of people have overlooked some of the most basic financial precautions, and it could cost you thousands of dollars. Ten years after Karen Mendelson and her husband Harold were married, he went to take a run and never came back. He suffered a sudden heart attack. It was horrible. And they couldn't revive him. The second blow, neither she nor their two young children were named as beneficiaries on his pension. He had neglected to switch it from his parents. Consumer Reports magazine says financial oversights that can cost you thousands are all too common. Our survey found that in the last five years, 86% of respondents had not checked or updated important estate documents, including wills and beneficiary designations. Another frequent mistake couples make is having only one person in charge of financials. What if somebody gets disabled? What if one of them dies? Consumer Reports confirms that money stumbles are common with married couples. Its survey found in 70% of cases only one spouse knew key details about their accounts. Other money stumbles, 50% of homeowners did not have enough insurance to cover full replacement of personal property at today's prices. And more than 70% didn't have at least three months of living expenses set aside in case of job loss or illness. Consumer Reports recommends going over your life insurance, pension, and other things survivors would need and putting them in one file where your spouse or children can find them. And if you use online bill pay, make sure a second person has the login and password to that online bill pay system. We stay on the finances theme tonight for tonight's app of the week. And this Tuesday, the Mint.com app. It helps you keep track of all your family finances and manage your monthly budget. It's secure, safe, and free. I have a link to that app and all our recent apps of the week, as well as that space heater recall on WCPO.com so you don't waste your money.